So you installed the latest GCAM 7.3 and you took a picture and it's looking wow. But there is so much more you can do with GCAM 7.3. So you just went in, added HDR plus and then to take the same picture again and what do you get? something kind of dry, pale, raw looking photograph. But relax because we're back to another Gcam Advanced Setting Masterclass and where we show you how you just go into the settings and then you move further to the Advanced Setting and do some little, little, little tweaking up here and there. And once you're done with that, you come back to take the same picture right now. The normal picture without HDR, you take it, it's still looking the same way it's looking. But right now, when we go back to HDR Plus, us and we take picture right now bam it's gonna look way better as you can see than the HDR so are you ready for this if you're ready for this advanced setting let's go check it out welcome back if you are using GCAM 7.2, we started this advanced setting masterclass with GCAM 7.2 and we covered a whole lot and it received a lot of love in this video. And then we stepped it up to the part two where we covered GCAM 7.2, GCAM 6.1, 6.2, 6.3. So we got you covered this part two. But in this particular video, we're gonna focus only on GCAM 7.3. And for the very first time in GCAM 7 settings, we are gonna go in to show you how to tweak the front camera to get the best out of selfies too. So we have two Gcam 7.3 side by side. That is to show you that the same Gcam 7.3 have different, different kind of advanced settings. So this is gonna be a longer video. So you have to watch till the end because there is no quick fix to understanding advanced setting and how to tweak your camera to get the best picture. As you can see, this is the advanced setting for the Gcam 7.3 ported by Malin. And we're gonna work with the Gcam 7.3 ported by Parrot 043 three because that's one that works very well in my phone well this is the gcam 7.3 ported by parrot 043 and we're going to cover everything hdr go further to exposure value ev exposure compensation front camera tweaks even in portrait mode and then we're going to do af a lock custom libraries nice site astrophotography tweak and a whole lot of more so so you got to watch till the end to enjoy all this and timeline will be in the description for you to jump to any part you want to. So this is the one I showed you in the intro. You took a picture with HDR plus and it is very, very poor. You see the one, the normal picture, this is the HDR. And then let's go and see how we're going to make this normal picture even get better with HDR. Now the same thing for Gcam 7.3 also affects Gcam uh, HDR plus enhanced. So you see HDR plus enhanced takes more time to take picture, but yet the same thing is plugging both the HDR and HDR plus enhanced. So now we're going to go into the setting. I'm going to show you that the things you need to tweak your picture step by step to get the very best out of it. First off, you go into the settings and in this setting, you have to be very, very careful because if you just rush in and go to the advanced settings, you're not going to see any advanced setting per se. So what you have to do first of all from the setting, just locate advanced, enable advanced settings. This option allows you full access. And, so, and once you've done that, that's where the action is. Now you can see a whole lot of advanced setting is open to you. A whole lot of advanced setting just opens up. So that is the first step for this particular port by Parrot 043. It might be different like the other interface, which is not like that. Go down to HDR plus settings, bump it up to maximum the JPEG quality you just got to keep it at the maximum and then the hdr plus enhanced frame this is where i use 24 normally if you use 36 it might be too much saturated and then in gcam 7.2 i think they stopped at 25 so there's an improvement here so let's go back and test some of these few tweaks and settings we've changed right now starting by taking the normal picture without hdr plus so the normal picture looks beautiful. I'm telling you, Gcam 7.3 is 
beautiful. It's an app you must have to test if it can run on your device. And then now we're going to go and test the HDR Plus again, uh, different from the one we did in the beginning. But now, as you can see, the HDR Plus is looking sharper. Under that laptop, the desk is cleaner. There's more light there. You see, it's darker there, but here. Then we're going to try the HDR Plus Enhanced and see whether there's going to be even much more difference. Um, as you can notice, the HDR Plus Enhanced takes more time to take the photo. And as you can see, under that laptop again, there's cleaner light. There's cleaner light there's the is sharper is cleaner there's more light in it a little bit uh but the difference between it and the hdr enhanced is not too much so we're going to do a comparison between the three pictures no hdr hdr plus and hdr plus enhanced so my focus is actually between hdr plus and hdr enhanced so you can look at the hdr plus uh, there is light is cleaner under that uh, uh, laptop at the edge of the desk uh, is quite clean and it has the zero shutter lag but if you look at the hdmi plus the enhanced under that you can see a little bit more light but the difference is not much so i always choose the hdr plus because of zero shutter lag next up exposure value and exposure compensation there is a very important part of high dynamic range that most people don't really consider. Now look at this, there is a setting for the front camera and that's very very important because we're going to go check it out. Now this is for HDR for front camera. So if you take the normal picture in your front camera and by the way that's my face if you haven't seen my face yet. So actually this is a HDR. So if you look at the HDR setting here it's dark on my left eye, the left side of the face is very dark. So we're going to turn off the HDR also and then check out the front camera without HDR the way it looks. For GCam 7.3 it looks fair enough there is quite some light but still that part is still a little bit not so sharp you know so this is the HDR own it's even kind of worse or not showing uh, the skin tone is a little bit higher but then let's go and tweak the setting and let's see how it's going. We're going to turn off the HDR first and we're going to go back into the setting, advanced setting. And we're going to go down to that HDR plus enhanced setting and we're going to go down to exposure uh, compensation EV for front camera. Well, we're going to bump it up to 1.8. Eight, let me say and then let's see you can always tweak it down on up depending on where you are so we're going to put on the hdr plus now and we're going to take a picture yeah i'm giving you that's kind of a thank you for all of you who subscribed and now you're going to see the clear difference it's like wow so for the very first time in gcam 7.3 this setting is coming um for the front camera well it looks a little bit too sharp you can always tweak it and set it let's check out the hdr plus enhanced for the front camera it takes more time uh yeah this is beautiful i mean it opens up there is light it's a little bit more light so this is uh, without hdr this is with hdr plus and hdr plus enhanced maybe you judge for yourself well i think i need to you know bring it down a bit <laughs> bump it down a bit so we're going to go back to 7 and bring it to 1.6 for the exposure compensation now this is very very important part of advanced setting in gcam that most people do not use so you can always tweak it to your own liking i'm going to use the hdr plus here you can always tweak it to your own liking and i'm going to take the picture now um after this i'm going to show you that autofocus and EV lock so you see now I've tweaked it down a bit and this is beautiful even though the room is a bit dark uh, this is beautiful so you can check that for yourself and after this we're going to move straight into portrait mode Portrait mode in GCam 7.3 is beautiful, great edge detection. But here is a tweak and you will need to install Google Photos for this. You see the portrait image? You can click tap on the screen and then touch on those uh, setting button and go to this blur and increase or reduce the blur of the picture you've taken and this is beautiful. This is beautiful. You can tweak it to your own choice. Your choice might be different from mine and save it so once you do that you will have the saved copy of your tweaked blur background in the portrait uh, mode you've taken saved in your gallery and then this is the normal one that you save so this is a very very 
trick interesting trick if you have google photos installed now the next trick i'm going to show you in portrait is objects inanimate objects you know google portrait does not work with inanimate object but if you want to get that portrait effect just go close and snap that object now as you can see there's a portrait effect around the top of the phone so you can still get that with this trick so that's that so the next thing i'm going to move into is hdr plus in portrait mode advanced hdr plus in portrait mode is something you need to check out in gcam 7.3 well starting off we're going to turn it off first and we're going to take a portrait mode picture and then we're going to come back and turn it on and then see how it goes so this is the picture in portrait mode without the hdr turned on the advanced uh, hdr for portrait mode this is the way it looks okay so we're going to go back to the advanced setting again and we're going to go to that um, advanced hdr plus in portrait mode we're going to turn it on and then we're going to go back and take a picture with it so that's it now you can see let's see whether there's going to be any difference with the first one so that's that there's the first one there's the second one now the enhanced hdr is showing that it's way better than without the hdr so we're going to move back now we're going to go forward and go into af slash ae lock now it means autofocus and auto exposure lock now this is very very important no matter the phone you're using you might see this thing that many people struggle with this slider you drag it up you drag it down and then you tap again it goes off so with gcam 7.3 i think this also in other gcam you can always set the kind of focus and exposure that you want for a picture and then you lock it you see now you can set the exposure and the and the focus you want once you got it right the way you want just make sure you lock it and then once you've locked it you just take the picture do not touch any part if you touch any part after locking it it unlocks so once you move the slider to where you want then you touch the lock the next thing you have to just press is the shutter and any other thing it will just open the lock so you see it now now the same place the same time the same picture but there is more light there's more uh, brightness in the picture from that so finally we're going to be moving towards the night side and astrophotography there is so much tweaks in this gcam 7.3 you just have to watch this through the end and learn it so let's start with exposure compensation in night side yeah it's by default in auto so we're not going to do anything we're going to go and take a picture in night sight um without anything the camera and we're going to take a picture of night sight so um the camera picture is uh going to be taken and then we're going to go to the night sight and we'll go take a picture too so let's compare the pictures right now don't mind my viewfinder this is the night sight as you can see it is beautiful and then you want to see what it compares against now this is what the camera took i mean this is like so dark you can't see anything this is the night sight all right okay but that's not all because many people are living on this level but there is more you can do if you go to the advanced setting and then go down scroll down down to the advanced setting and go to exposure compensation for night sight and bump it up to the highest and then with that if you come back and then you take a picture now in the night sight with that exposure set to the highest point now we're going to compare it with the normal camera the former night sight and the one that we tweaked so it's still the same thing it's going to give you now you snap and you go into your setting right now so we're going to compare it as you can see already from the preview it is better this is with that exposure compensation this is without exposure compensation and you see google photos telling you fix lightning <laughs> it's quite sensitive so this is the great things you can do with tweaking your night sight let's see another one um the image is right now i took another one you see this is with exposure compensation for night sight this is ordinary night sight 
auto settings and then you can see the difference with the exposure compensation bumped up to 2.0 and it's quite clear that you look at the skies here look at the top of the roof everything is way way better if you just bump up the exposure compensation to the highest while you're taking pictures man this is the normal camera which is oh gosh yeah the slide side is magic so but it can even get better so that's what we're committed to to get the best out of your google camera because there is so lot much more it can do so finally we're going to go in and end up with astrophotography uh, some of us have seen astrophotography but i'm going to show you how you're going to use it with night sights are you ready i kept the best for the last so let's go we start off by turning on the astrophotography and then there is max exposure time now this is what control how long the exposure your, your aperture is opened in the smartphone to take picture i'm going to use two seconds because uh, this is handheld photography so um i'm going to use two seconds it might not actually turn out to be two seconds it might be three or four seconds but it won't be more than that if you use two seconds so we're going to turn on the astrophotography and we're going to take picture the same picture that we were shouting about as you can see it took about three there about four seconds to take the picture and it's handheld and as you can see now you're going to see the difference now uh, with this and the other one that we thought was just the best so this is the one with astrophotography turn on for two seconds and it's handheld and it is better than the exposure correction we use in night sight this is the normal night sight and this is without night sight so as you can see it just gets better and better and better so i'm going to stop here if you have any question how to install gcam the links will be in the description if you have not subscribed subscribe to our channel because we're going to be bringing out more and more that will be it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. To subscribe. I'll see you.